A Memorial by John Greenleaf Whittier O thicker, deeper, darker growing, the solemn vista to the tomb must know henceforth another shadow, and give another cypress room. In love surpassing that of brothers, we walked, O friend, from childhood's day, and, looking back over fifty summers, our footprints track a common way. One in our faith, and one our longing to make the world within our reach somewhat the better for our living, and gladder for our human speech. Thou heard as tea with me the far off voices, the old beguiling song of fame, but life to thee was warm and present, and love was better than a name. To homely joys and loves and friendships thy genial nature fondly clung, and so the shadow on the dial ran back and left thee always young. And who could blame the generous weakness which, only to thyself unjust, so overprized the worth of others, and dwarfed thy own with self-distrust? All hearts grew warmer in the presence of one who, seeking not his own, gave freely for the love of giving, nor reaped for self the harvest sown. Thy greeting smile was pledge and prelude of generous deeds and kindly words, in thy large heart were fair guest chambers, open to sunrise and the birds, the task was thine to mold and fashion life's plastic newness into grace to make the boyish heart heroic, and light with thought the maiden's face. Over all the land, in town, and prairie, with bended heads of mourning, stand the living forms that owe their beauty and fitness to thy shaping hand. Thy call has come in ripened manhood, the noonday calm of heart and mind, while I, who dreamed of thy remaining to mourn me, linger still behind, lie on, to own, with self upbraiding, a debt of love still due from me, the vain remembrance of occasions, forever lost, of serving thee. It was not mine among thy kindred to join the silent funeral prayers, but all that long sad day of summer my tears of mourning dropped with theirs. All day the sea waves sobbed with sorrow, the birds forgot their merry trills all day I heard the pines lamenting with thine upon thy homestead hills. Green be those hillside pines forever, and green the meadowy lowlands be, and green the old memorial beaches, name carven in the woods of Lee. Still let them greet thy life companions who thither turn their pilgrim feet, in every mossy line recalling a tender memory sadly sweet. O oh friend! If thought and sense avail not to know thee henceforth as thou art, that all is well with thee forever I trust the instincts of my heart. Thine be the quiet habitations, thine the green pastures, blossom sown, and smiles of saintly recognition, as sweet and tender as thy own. Thou comest he not from the hush and shadow to meet us, but to thee we come, with thee we never can be strangers, and where thou art must still be home. Extra Info, Moses Austin Cartland, a dear friend and relation, who led a faithful life as a teacher and died in the summer of 1863.